Hello, in this lecture, we're going to define the term of a credit. According to Fundamental Accounting Principles Wild 22nd Edition, the term credit means recorded on the right-hand side, an entry that decreases assets and expense accounts and increases liability, revenue, and equity accounts. Therefore, we can look at credits in terms of our board being a T account. The credits are going to be the amount on the right-hand side. Right-hand side, entries on the right-hand side, those are credits. That's all credits are. So if you have any other notions of what credits are in terms of recording journal entries and transactions for accounting, you need to get them out of your head. It doesn't mean a, debit, it doesn't mean a credit card. It doesn't mean uh, a credit that if a bank tells you they're going to credit your account. Get those notions out of your head. All it means for the terms of recording transactions is an amount on the right-hand side. T account being like our board that we're going to be playing on. It has no more meaning than a black and red square on a checkerboard. And that means that liabilities, revenue, and equity are going to be credit type normal credit type accounts. They're going to have credit balances in them. The other side being debits. That's the other side of our board. And the type of accounts that have debit balances will be assets and expense accounts. That being said, anything that has a normal credit balance will go up with a credit. Anything that has a normal debit balance will go down if we credit it. Therefore, if we're talking liabilities, revenue, and equity, if we credit those account types because their normal balance is a credit, it'll go up. And when we're talking about assets and expenses, because their normal balance are debits, if we do the opposite thing to it and credit them, they will then go down.